What's going on everyone, Daniel Rodriguez here, it's time to review Daredevil Season 2, Episode 1, the Season 2 premiere, titled Bang. This is a spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode, obviously all 13 episodes have dropped on Netflix. Uh, again, spoiler review, man, I've reviewed all Season 1, I believe I'll put the link down below to the playlist of all the Daredevil Season 1, I've also reviewed Jessica Jones Season 1 as well, so all the Netflix uh, Marvel series are up to date, man. Very awesome. Uh, I've uh, update, man. It is currently 6:30 in the morning, man. I've almost been up. I think I've been up for 22 hours straight. Uh, no rest, no nap, or anything, man. Which is pretty crazy for me. And uh, I've already. I'm up to episode five in Daredevil. So expect four reviews while you're watching this review. The other three should be up, and then later on on Friday, episode five through eight, and then by Saturday morning or by Saturday night, all 13 episodes should be reviewed on the channel, and by Sunday, hopefully, a Season 2 full-on review, spoiler review for Daredevil Season 2, and non-spoiler review, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, let's get right to it, man, bang. It's gonna take me two minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score, tell you what I thought about it, man, and of course, I'm wearing the Punisher, because I met John Bernthal, obviously, saw so my intro that I took a picture with him, and Ron Perlman, and also Stan Lee, but uh, it's just, you know, Jump meeting the Punisher, dude, and, you know, knowing that he's going to be badass and that he is badass in the show, dude. He has a lot of tension in him. He has a lot of uh, just magic in him, man, a lot of anger, a lot of hate, and it's pretty amazing to see him come to life uh, on this show and meet with Daredevil. So anyway, man, I also got the Punisher tattoo as well in honor for Daredevil Season 2. I'm ready. It's my marble arm here possibly the DC arm. I'm not sure what's going on there. But uh, we'll see what goes on. And here we go. Let's get started. First off, Daredevil takes down these thugs in the beginning. Of course, he takes down some bad guys. But the camera never really lingers on Daredevil. They kind of hide him as almost like if we don't know. Like, we know it's Daredevil, but it's almost like, oh, we're not going to reveal his look or something, you know, which I, I didn't really notice. I don't know if there's a lot of upgrades to the suit yet. I, I didn't really get to notice because it I haven't seen season one ever since the first day season one came out. You know, I binge watch that. I haven't seen it since, so I'm not sure if he had changed his look already. But uh, I mean, I don't know why they didn't end up showing him. I was kind of like just to show him running after them. But he took down some thugs, dude. Of course, uh, one in a, a, a little church man. So uh, I'm sorry again. I've been out for like 22 hours. So I'm going to be a little bit stingy here. Nelson and Murdoch are low on money, dude. They they're literally running out of money. Uh, they have no money, they're going almost sort of almost bankrupt sort of thing, and they have a lot of clients to work with, man, so, you know, they're busy, but yet they have, they're low on money. Uh, there was an Irish massacre, man, these Irish were meeting up at this uh, pub or bar, and basically the Punisher took all of them down with a machine gun, but one survived, man. His name is Grotto, or Gr Grotto, I don't call him Grotto, uh, so he goes to Foggy and Matt, and he's basically bleeding, he ends up being, uh, he blacks out and he wakes up in the hospital. Karen will take care of him the majority of the episode. So anyway, um, they visit the crime scene, and of course they want to get inside detail uh, with a cop, but of course they get a little info, a little tidbit saying that this new group of people are taking down these these uh, different mob families and everything, but of course, we know it's the Punisher, but you know, to the to Matt and, you know, uh, Foggy, it's a group of people taking down these, but you know, it's only one guy, but to the police and everything, they think it's a whole team, a, a, a new team emerging in Hell's Kitchen. So Foggy ends up looking for Smitty, and he goes to this Dogs of Hell uh, bar, and basically he finds trouble, dude. He almost got basically killed in there. Uh, that's not Foggy's scene, obviously, and he finds out that Smitty is dead. So the Punisher goes after Gro uh, Grotto, and there's a, he's in the hospital. That's basically the hospital scene where in the teasers where we see him walking in the back of his head and everything, and the cop sees his gun, dude. I love how he's just hanging onto his gun, and the cop's like, whoa, 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 and then 
he just literally takes the cop down just with one hit and everything and all of a sudden he brings out the shotgun Karen and Grodo are on the run dude they're trying to escape the hospital dude very a uh, lot of intensity and the Punisher only says one word in this whole episode that's the thing that I loved about this episode where you know you know you've heard him talk in the teasers and trailers but to keep that suspense there like this guy is not messing around you know the Punisher's hardcore and just all that holding in just to say that one word at the end was fantastic. So Daredevil finds um, the, Punish or the Punisher's lair and the guns and everywhere and everything, which is kind of pretty fast for the, the premiere for him to find the lair. But there's guns and there's homemade grenades and everything there. So, uh, no, 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 that's not his lair. I'm sorry. He finds like this lair, this meat locker. But he does end up finding it, I believe, in episode two, his lair. But he finds this meat locker and everything. These guys, this cartel, are hanging on meat hooks pretty brutal stuff man of course Punisher is known for uh, obviously brutal things blowing up but of course they do go rated R in here a lot where they're but it's not like it's like oh my gosh like Ray Stevenson's war zone sort of blown up bodies everywhere sort of thing like they go hardcore in here but they don't go full on war zone hardcore which is okay I mean you know we go as far as we can get here man so there's this guy hanging and he basically tells Daredevil that it was one man so anyway, Karen and Grodo escape Matt versus Frank Castle, the Punisher. They are actually fighting on top of the rooftop, and all of a sudden, dude, he pulls out his gun, bang, phew, shoots him right in the head. Of course, Matt, Matt uh, Murdoch, Daredevil, he falls off the roof. That's it, dude. Cut to black. Let me tell you real quick. Watching this premiere, I was my adrenaline was high, dude, and I was literally thinking to myself, how many, I don't know how long the episode was, 45 minutes, 50 minutes? It felt like a 30-minute episode. The pacing was that good, where it went quick, it wasn't slow, and I literally, at the end, I was like, that, that's already one episode? That's, that's the premiere? Oh, shit. Like, it literally went that quick, man. Um, the ending, I gotta say, man, and I wrote that first, the ending of the episode, that is a great way to end a premiere. Um, that, I didn't expect that for him to be bang and then just end up shooting him and he falls off the, the roof. That was really intense, man. The action in here, the choreography, dude, Daredevil's back at it again, dude, doing his, what he does best, man, in the fighting and what season one was known for, which everyone out of season one didn't, just, they talked about the acting, they talked about the actors, they're all great, but the action was the main thing that really brought people in, that martial arts sort of, that, that choreography in there, man. And it's back in here again, dude. Very awesome. Of course, the Punisher versus Daredevil. They fight throughout multiple episodes, obviously. But this one, it was a really good fight. Uh, of course, the ending of the Punisher, John Bernthal, just the tension and the, 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 the facial reactions in here, of course. Um, again, he only says one word, but that one word is so powerful for the ending of the episode and all that intensity in there. Uh, the directing, the cinematography in here looks beautiful, man. I love the camera angles. I love the way it hovers on some of the characters, the way it follows the characters. There are a few one-shots throughout multiple episodes. So it is a very well-directed episode. Uh, Daredevil's suit as well. He looks really awesome, even though if I don't know if there's any upgrades on there, his suit does look pretty badass, man. I really do love it. Uh, the practical effects, and I don't know if there was any CGI effects in here, but I will say practical effects for sure. Uh, everything that they use, man, looked really awesome. It definitely gave me that Daredevil Season 1 feeling where they keep on continuing that style. Looked really awesome. Uh, bloody, of course, always has to have a little bit of blood in there, which was quite a lot of blood for uh, this episode, man, especially when Dare uh, Punisher mowed down those Irish, the Irish Massacre, and they were just like... Pff, 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 and they were like, one guy, I think, got shot in the neck, just pff, in the blood. I think that was a CGI effect right there. And he fell down, and he was just like there, like lying there, dude, dead. Uh, that's where all the bloodiness came in, dude, and I was like, finally, you know, there was blood in Daredevil Season 1, yeah, and there's blood in Jessica Jones, of course, don't get me wrong, this is blood, but definitely when the Punisher comes in, he goes hardcore and extreme, dude, it almost reminded me of Warzone, when Ray Stevenson, um, was in the beginning, and he massacred that family, and he was like, but ooh, dad, and he's, and his, like, head got decapitated, and he was, like, hanging on the chandeliers, and all that stuff, man reminded me of sort of like that Irish massacre except you didn't see the Punisher do it. You kind of like, you know. Either way, Foggy was funny in here as well, dude. Uh, I remember a lot of behind the scene photos and uh, he's like, you never seen me dance, Matt, because you're blind. If you would have seen me dance, you know, you know, imagine me and you on the dance floor and I'm just like, you know, just like avocados, like at law. Imagine Nelson and Matt 
dancing on the dance floor. That's something that we would like to see a lot. That'd be funny. Um, the tension, of course, like I told you, and the dialogue. This is a very well dialogue written show and it works so well in here. I love the writing. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> one scene could last up to 10 minutes literally of just dialogue and it keeps you interested, especially the lawyer talk sometimes because it is a lawyer show. It is a little crime show there. Um, and then, you know, lawyer by day, hero by night, you know. So uh, I, I definitely love the way that they're, they're playing that again, of course, this season. And then you got the Punisher involved and all these Irish or cartel warriors, uh, a bunch of different m mobs out there, man. So I love the way that they're setting that up. The only cons, I have to say the bad stuff about this episode that I really kind of didn't like. Uh, how did he get to the roof so fast? You know how they were, they're leaving uh, Grotto and... Karen and they're leaving in the car. How did he get to the the hospital roof so fast and have the gun and sniper all set up and everything? Um, you know, I know he's an expert, but how did he get to how did he get up there so fast? I mean, let's be honest, let's be realistic. How did he get up there? I mean, you know, to be in you know Zoom and everything that was pretty quick. Uh, they just ran from a professional as well. I was kind of saying like. Punisher's badass, dude. How did he miss those shots? He's a professional. I don't understand. Like, if he never misses his shots all the time, he's usually badass at that. He's really good. How did he miss those shots with a shotgun, dude? He should have got them easily right away. Like, literally, he was right down the hallway, and Karen's like, let's go, let's go. And they, like, run out the door. And I'm like, really? You didn't just shoot them right there and then? Like, just to be realistic, really? You didn't get them? Uh, the opening, not seeing Daredevil, that sort of thing, where they're hiding. And this is a show where you should see season one. You shouldn't, oh, The Punisher, Elektra, and season two. Oh, my God. No, don't go to season two yet. Watch season one, because you want to know Karen's backstory. You want to know Foggy's story, how they became to be. That is very interesting and very big to season two, man, or else you wouldn't get all this thing that's going on with the characters. So, again, also in the beginning, not seeing daredevil and them kind of like not showing him until like the, the 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 five minutes in or something like not showing him and then he's like on the roof or something like that i'm like really why don't like guys because in the beginning i'm gonna be honest in the beginning it almost felt like they kind of rushed season two where i'm like oh god please don't be a bad beginning episode it's not a bad beginning don't get me wrong i like seeing him take down the thieves but it, it just felt like a like Oh my god, we got a season two. We're just going to film an opening scene of an action scene. Let's go and do it, like, because we're back for season two. Jessica Jones is going to have to wait a few years, so we might as well just, you know. Um, obviously, this was filmed way before Jessica Jones even premiered. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it felt like that, oh, haha, we got a season two. Let's, like, let's, we're going to open up, like, we're, like, almost like we rushed into production and we just got this done, sort of feeling. I don't know why I had that feeling. Uh, but it didn't ruin the episode or anything. I'm just saying that opening was kind of like, I could have had a better season two opening, but all right, you know, we'll go with that. Uh, not much context on why Foggy really went to the, the bar. There was not real no context, really. I mean, as in, like, sure, he may have said something, I may have missed it. But him risking his life for Smitty when Daredevil was already going after Punisher and everything, I don't see why there was really no really need for him to go at go to that bar but you know it is what it is man so overall i'm going to end up giving this episode of daredevil season two episode one bang an a minus secondarily a b plus guys i think it was a great premiere man great action uh great directing uh, punisher was amazing dude the action the blood the choreography the look of the show the effects everything was great man uh it wasn't like an the a plus premiere but it was an a minus premiere where it definitely um, if you're not watching Daredevil, watch it, man. They, Marvel did it again. They got the Punisher feeling down. Uh, Daredevil's, I mean, there's an awesome hallway stairway scene in episode three. That's all I'll say if you haven't got to that yet. Amazing. A lot of great things coming in Daredevil, man. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, no bad episodes up to episode four so far. No bad episodes. Really great, man. So anyway, you guys want to check out the channel. I review other shows, Gotham, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, Walking Dead, much, much more. So check out the channel. I review movies weekly. If you want to, just please check it out. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. Until next time, bye-bye. And remember, bang.